Hi, I'm Patrick Carman, and I'm the author of the Land of Elion series and Elliot's Park. Well, the Land of Elion began as a story for my own kids. And so the setup really was very simple at first. It was just a story I told them about a girl living inside of a town. She was surrounded by these towering walls, and, and she had to figure out a way to get out. Um, and when, they, when she does get out, that's when the story really takes off. And that was the beginning of the story. When I, when I told it to my kids, um, all of the main characters and the places kind of came out of that oral uh, experience with them. And then uh, I started writing things down, and pretty soon it turned into a, a novel. Well, there are two reasons why I wanted to write Into the Mist, which is a prequel to the trilogy, The Land of Elyon story. Uh, one of those is that there are these two characters in the books. And so Into the Mist goes back and tells the story of Thomas and Roland Warvald. But the other reason is, it's not really a traditional prequel, because it's also taking place on a boat uh, that Alexa leaves on when the trilogy ends. So the trilogy comes to an end, and she kind of sails off on the lonely sea. When Into the Mist comes to an end, we know where Alexa is going on the Lonely Sea. She arrives in this place. It's a place where this new story called Stargazer is going to occur, and that'll be the next story in the Land of Elion series. Well, I'm writing a series now for younger kids. These are first chapter books. It's called Elliot's Park. And the great thing about this series is it takes place in, in a real park in my own hometown of Walla Walla. It's called Pioneer Park, but we've changed it to Elliot's Park. And of course, parks are great because they're full of squirrels, and all the characters in these books are squirrels. We've put little outfits on them. And I say we because my daughter, I have a 10-year-old, she and I together took a walk through this park and it was her idea to begin with to come up with a story that was about all these squirrels in this park. So it's really great. It's been a lot of fun to work with her uh, through the process of coming up with stories. And this very first one, Saving Mr. Nibbles, is the first story. It's all about a kid who comes to the park and has a birthday party. And of course he's given a stuffed squirrel for his birthday. And then when he takes it home to the yellow house across the street, all the squirrels in the park, they think this little stuffed squirrel is real. So they chase it down and get into the house and try and bring Mr. Nibbles back. So this is a really, and all the stories are like very fun, sort of funny stories, and I think a lot of fun for younger kids to read. Uh, for Elliot and his pals, uh, the squirrels, the next thing will be a story that takes place in the park called Haunted Hike. It's a really fun sort of farce. All the stories for uh, Elliot's Parker are like that. And that's what I've always loved about these books is that I feel like I'm trying to create a world where kids could go into this world and almost think it could be real.